What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be working on my 1963 Pangor Penguin project. So let's get right into it. So the plan for today is gonna to be uh, refiberglassing the back end of this project so we can fit our larger sprocket in there. Because before I cut this piece out right here, there was no way we were gonna fit a uh, 56 tooth sprocket in there. And what I had in there was a 13 tooth sprocket and it just didn't work. It would like spin and uh, the chain wouldn't grip on it and uh, it just had no acceleration. So today we're gonna be putting in this sprocket and uh, hopefully that'll give us a much better acceleration. But to do that, we had to cut out this back area and we're gonna need to refiberglass it. And I already started the refiberglassing uh, process by making this like kind of mold for it. So we're gonna do something kind of like that right there. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this uh, fiberglass piece I just made onto the hole of the boat. And to do that, we're gonna need to use our jigsaw and we're gonna have to cut this hole out a little bit wider, about two inches wider, so it fits on there perfectly. And then after we do that, we're just gonna sand up around here and then uh, fiberglass this piece onto the hole of the boat. So now that we cut that hole out a little bit bigger and sanded around the area where we're gonna be fiberglassing, our next step is to lay that piece on there and uh, start laying the fiberglass and thickening the piece we already made. The, the reason we need to thicken it quite a bit is because that's the lowest point of the bow and if it hits anything, it's gonna break. And if it breaks in the water, that's gonna be really bad. And the other thing is this is a land vehicle as well. So it's gonna be going off road a little bit and it will, see a little bit of abuse to the bottom side of it. So we're gonna make that about a quarter inch thick, maybe a half inch thick, just so it's extra sturdy. So I started to install my fiberglass piece onto here, and as I was doing it, I realized that there wasn't enough clearance for the sprocket on it. So I used these wood pieces to raise it up to give it just enough clearance that we could fit a chain on there, and then a little piece of rubber uh, on the piece of fiberglass so that the chain, if it ever comes off, doesn't break the fiberglass.
finished doing this side of it and now we're just gonna wait for it to dry and then flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing um, on the other side, but it's gonna be a lot thicker of a layer because uh, you don't wanna mount it up too much on the outside or it's gonna be really hard to smooth out. So yeah, that's the next step. Okay, so I just flipped it over and uh, it actually looks really good in the inside and it's super solid. Um, so I guess now I should check the spacing in the sprocket to make sure that fits there. And uh, it looks like it fits pretty good. We have about an inch, an inch and a half of clearance. So that's really cool. Um, so I guess the next step is going to be just fiberglassing more on the inside here and then doing the edges. And then we'll just uh, use our filler on the outside to make it look all pretty and then do a little bit of a primer on it. And uh, then we'll be done. So I just put quite a few more layers of fiberglass on here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand up this area around here and then start uh, adding the fiberglass so it kind of goes over like that so it looks a lot smoother. So I just finished this layer on it and it actually looks really good. Um, so I guess the next thing we need to do is just the sides here. And then uh, once we get that done, we can thicken it up a little bit more because it's about a quarter inch thick right now, but it'd be nice to have it about a half inch thick because it is the lowest point. Um, and then once we do that, we can do the filler on the other side and then we're pretty much done with it. So I finished the sides and it looks really good, but as I was doing it, I realized that this is gonna make a lot of drag in the water. So I was thinking maybe we make like a bottom of a boat shape kinda in front of this just to make it go a little bit quicker. So I think I'm gonna refiberglass on top of that now and then um, it'll look a lot better and it will work a lot better. So I did a little work to the bottom of this thing and um, I just started applying that filler on it after doing a few more layers of fiberglass off camera because my camera died. Um, so it's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to kind of put another layer of it on there and hope to like smooth it out a little bit more, make it a little bit more even. And then um, I'm going to do the sides here. I'm going to flip it over to the inside and do some more fiberglass in the inside because I haven't done that yet and then um, we'll be ready to install all the new parts. 
Okay, so I did my last layer of body filler and um, I did the sides as well. So now all I have to do is sand it one more time and then I'm gonna put the uh, primer on it and maybe a little bit of black paint just to protect it. And then we'll be done with this part. All right, so I just finished sanding all the body filler off of it. And so now it's all nice and smooth all the way around. Um, this isn't the final stage of body filler I'm going to do to it. Right before I paint it, I'll probably do another layer and then I'll sand that just to make it perfect everywhere. But for now, um, I'm just going to paint it and then uh, we'll be able to put the prop on and go test it in the water. Wow, this thing looks amazing. This part of the project took a lot longer than expected, but it was all worth it in the end. This thing looks like it came like this from the factory. So I guess that's it for this part of the video. So now that we finished that part of the project, the next step is going to be putting the prop on the back of the uh, penguin. And um, I'm still waiting on a few parts, so that's going to be in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and um, I'll see you for part two of the Pangor Penguin Project.